Hi, this is The Water Doctor, and every day we get multiple questions about how much of a certain contaminant can we take out of the water. For instance, there are some companies that have backwashing carbon filters, and they say, well, our system is good for three and a half million gallons. Well, that's really, really, really pushing. I sure wouldn't drink the water after three and a half million gallons have been through a carbon filter. But water's a fluid subject, with no pun intended. It depends upon what's in the water. It depends on the contaminant level, and it also could, depends upon competing contaminants. Let me give you an example. Some people may rate that their filter will take out 50 parts per billion of arsenic, and that may be true. But then it's not always true. Depending upon which method you're using, you may be using a method that will take out 50 parts per billion of iron, but the media that you're using also has an affinity for nitrate and it takes out the nitrates too, right? Which is good, except it likes arsenic better than nitrates. So what happens is the nitrate starts loading up on the media, loading up on the media, and all of a sudden you need to take out some arsenic. Well, guess what? The nitrate jumps off the media and dumps into your water supply, and all of a sudden you've got a spike chemical cocktail nitrate that could kill a giant. So, when we say we can take out 50 parts per billion of a substance, a lot of times that testing is simply done with 50 parts per billion of arsenic in RO water. There's no other competing contaminants. But guess what? That's not the real world. The real world is that there may be lots of other competing contaminants in your water supply. So for some company to say, our system will treat three and a half million gallons or a thousand gallons or whatever it is, that really is a guess. It's a guess depending upon what other contaminants are in the water that might compete with that contaminant. And there's not always an easy answer. That's why you should deal with a professional who is going to do a water sample, get a water test to know exactly what's in the water, and then we can give you a generalized idea of how long a certain filter, or media, or process is going to last. I'm not saying people are deliberately being deceptive, but they don't always know how these products were rated. They don't always understand that it was just rated on one specific contaminant where there may be 20,000 contaminants in your water that can impact that filter's ability to do its job. Let the buyer beware, do your homework, and do, a, do business with a reputable company that's not going to overhype and underdeliver. I'd rather underpromise and overdeliver. Cheers.